Hi guys, welcome to Egoma Studio. My name is Sarah and in today's episode I'm going to teach you how to make your first sewing project. If you are interested in sewing, you're a complete beginner, then definitely follow this channel because this is the second episode of a bigger series that is dedicated specifically for beginners. So if you haven't watched the previous episode, then definitely go and watch it. I'm going to link it down below. And basically in the previous episode, I talked about sewing machines, sewing patterns, fabric, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to know about those things, you want to, for instance, buy a sewing machine, you don't have one, I kind of advise you on some things there. So definitely go and watch that. And today, like I said, I'm going to show you how to make your first sewing project. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a three tier skirt with an elastic waistband. The reason why I like to start with this type of skirt is because it forces you to practice a straight stitch. And the thing is, you don't have to like curve the stitch, move it in different directions. You literally just sew a straight stitch and back, straight stitch and back because the whole skirt is made out of rectangles. So you don't even need a sewing pattern. The cool thing about this skirt is that it's extremely customizable. You can add as many tiers as you want. You can add ruffles, gathers. You can just do whatever you want with it. You can make it short, long. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a longer just because I don't know, I like longer skirts. I don't wear shorter skirts. I basically just bought new measuring tape and I kind of like to buy them quite often because what happens to them they stretch and can give you wrong measurements over time. So here I have a new one. Let's hope it has centimeters. It does. <laughs> Even though I live in America, I don't understand inches. Anyways, so for today's project, you will need a measuring tape, some elastic. You will also need some fabric. If you haven't watched the previous episode, I talked about fabric for beginners and I talked about cotton and linen and cotton is basically a very good fabric for beginners and here it is i have some cotton this one is actually pretty lightweight it, you can see in a second i want to show you this one is pretty see-through for this project i would recommend that you use cotton or you can use cotton blend so if you have some spandex or if you have maybe some polyester the fabric will probably not wrinkle as much Mine will wrinkle like crazy because this is what I got, but I don't mind it. I actually sometimes like the like a wrinkly look, but some people hate it. That's why I'm just saying that you might want to blend instead of just cotton. I also got some lining. I know this lining is completely different color, but it's basically a very like sheer fabric that's going to make my sheer fabric look pretty lightweight. It's not going to be see-through but it's gonna look see-through if it makes sense yeah let's go and i'm gonna show you everything as i go i hope this intro wasn't too long i think it was kind of long but i hope you forgive me and yeah let's go with the video one thing that you have to do before sewing you have to pre-wash your fabric put it in a washer for 15 minutes and then let it dry i personally like to air dry my fabric Next thing, you need to measure yourself. So you need to take your waist measurement, your hips measurement, and you want to determine how long you want your skirt to be. After that, you'll need to cut all of the pattern pieces. As you can see, you'll need to cut four rectangles plus non-roll elastic waistband. Mine is one centimeter wide. Replace my measurements with yours and multiply by 1.5 or more for a fuller look. I also added 1.5 centimeter seam allowance on all sides that's why width and length has three centimeters added. When it comes to elastic waistband, I adjusted it to my liking later, and that's what I would recommend you to do as well. If you're using lining, you need to make it five centimeters shorter than the main fabric. Hope it all makes sense. And again, all these measurements are very customizable, so you can change them if you want. This is called crosswise grain, and this one is called salvage. Keep it in mind for later. I'm just checking here if my elastic will fit or not. As you can see here, I'm cutting my fabric on crosswise grain, so from salvage to salvage. Okay, so all of my raw edges are overlocked. I'm going to show you. This is the waistband. That's how it looks like I overlocked it. 
as you can see, and I overlocked it all over the longer seam and also the side seam. When it comes to the other pattern pieces, I overlocked only the longer part, as you can see, only the longer part, because the shorter one, which is the side seam, I'm gonna overlock it all together when I connect all of the pattern pieces. I have all of the rectangles ready. I'm going to connect them all together in a second. And when it comes to lining, I'm gonna work on it later. So let's not worry about it now. But uh, I just wanna say one thing. If you don't have a serger or overlock machine, I assume that you don't have one because as a beginner, why would you buy one? I think if you actually realize that, okay, you love sewing and you wanna improve, you wanna maybe not improve, but take your sewing to next level, then definitely you can invest in a serger. But to start with, just get a sewing machine, that's all you need. And when it comes to raw edge, if you wanna stop it from fraying, you can buy something like this. Thinking shears, uh, basically they cut the edge on the zigzag and it prevents the raw edge from fraying. I think it will fray a little bit over time, but it definitely is a good way. A lot of people use it for silk actually, but I think as a beginner, you can absolutely use it on your cotton. I personally do not recommend those pinking shears. They're like kind of hard to use, at least for me, I don't know. Um, I do like this brand, I like Fiskars, so I'm not saying the brand is bad, it's just those particular ones, I do not recommend them. But yeah, just Google and get some other picking shoes, that will be fine. Another thing that you can do, you can use your sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch, and I'm gonna show you how to use zigzag stitch in a second. Set your machine stitch to a zigzag stitch, then sew over the raw edge. Take your skirt panel 1 and 2 and connect them together. Place the fabric right sides together. If you don't know which one is the right side, the right side is the one that looks nicer. So that's how I'm going to explain it to you today. Then pin the seam, placing the pins perpendicular to the seam. Then sew a straight stitch in the seam line. Make sure to start and finish your sewing with a back stitch. Sew a straight stitch in the seam line. Seam line is basically 1.5 centimeter away from the edge. Then take your fabric to an ironing station and press the seam flat and open. This is actually a very important step. A lot of beginners like to skip it. I would say do not skip it. This is very important. Your garment will look so much more professional if you press all of the seams right way. When it comes to panel two and three, you have to repeat exactly the same steps as for panel one and two. And after you connect the whole skirt, you have to overlock the raw edge. Place the skirt right sides facing each other so the side seams are matching and then pin. Basically, you're going to repeat the same steps throughout the entire sewing process, which means pin, sew a straight stitch and then press for all of the elements of the skirt. Hi guys. Okay, so I just finished sewing 
all those pieces and basically as you can see here it is all connected and it looks like this right now and then we're gonna add elastic and it's just gonna kind of cinch it at the waist it's gonna look really cute but now what we have to do we have to connect the main fabric to lining of course you can skip this step if you want if you don't want to use lining that's absolutely fine but I like to do it just to kind of practice, practice more seams and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. As you can see here, this is the side seam. Okay, this is the side seam. And we have to figure out where the other side seam is. So it's on this side. So basically I bend it in half and here, this is going to be the side seam. And this is very important, okay? So like just mark it with something, I don't know, you can pin it. And then you have to also bend it in half and figure out the center front and the center back. The reason why I wanna make sure that I know where the center front is, center back, side seam, side seam is, is because I want to make sure that the lining matches the main fabric and nothing is basically twisting because you don't want your skirt to twist. Sometimes if you go to a fast fashion store, it doesn't maybe happen often, but it can happen that something is just twisting in a weird way. And of course it can be pattern. It can be a bad pattern, but it potentially is bad sewing. So that is very important. Okay, so I'm showing you here exactly what I just explained. So here we have a side seam and we have to find another side seam and then center front and center back. So just watch the video and I hope you will understand everything that I'm doing. And then you have to do exactly the same thing for a lining. Place lining inside the main fabric, this time left sides facing each other. So this is very important, not right sides facing each other, but the left sides facing each other. So the, the wrong sides, if it makes sense. Match the side seams and then center front and center back and then pin the rest. Sew a straight stitch 1.2 centimeters away from the overlocked edge. Close the waistband, right sides together, pin and then sew a straight stitch and press exactly the same steps as with everything else. Pin the waistband to the right side of the skirt, match all of the seams together and then center front and center back and then of course pin the rest. and then stitch 1.5 centimeter away from the overlocked edge. So now what we have to do is we have to take the waistband outside and just fold it like this. And then we're gonna sew a straight stitch here. So I'm gonna fold it all around. And of course, we're not gonna fully sew it. We're gonna leave a little gap so the elastic can go through. I also decided to trim the seam allowance. So I trimmed all of the three layers and basically it will reduce the bulk. So the waistband will be less bulky. And that's what we want. I'm going to sew on the right side of the fabric and I'm going to sew a straight stitch in the seam line. And if you go above or below it, it's all good. Don't worry, you're just practicing. I mean, you're a beginner, it's all good. But make sure that you catch the waistband on the left side. And after that, make sure to leave a little gap for the elastic. Push the elastic through. To do that, I use a safety pin. Attach both edges of elastic together. So to do that, you have to sew a zigzag stitch. I put a little bit of fabric behind it so it all catches perfectly. Uh, there are different ways to do it, but that's how I like to do it. Then close the waistband. The 
the skirt now has elastic and it looks like this it looks pretty cute i actually kind of wish i made it a little bit more puffy so i wish i added ruffles but for this project like i said i wanted you to practice the straight stitch so no ruffles but next time i'll teach you how to make ruffles anyway so this is the skirt looks great and now i'm going to hem it so basically i'm going to fold it once and then one more time and create like this little tiny hem this is a little hack i like to sew a straight stitch where the fold will be and it will basically help me to fold the hem later i'm gonna fold the hem exactly where that stitch is and i'm gonna press And then I'm going to fold again and then pin. After that, I'm going to sew a straight stitch on the right side of the fabric and the hem is ready. All right, guys, so this is how the skirt looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. And like I said, in the future, I'll teach you how to add some gathers. I'll teach you how to add some ruffles and just customize it to your liking. But for this first project, I thought I'm gonna teach you something very easy, very simple, so you can practice your straight stitch. You can also wear it like this, and I think a lot of people will like it. Let me know how it goes. I forgot to record it, but follow Egome Studio on Instagram and TikTok and Egome Patterns on Etsy. And I'll see you next Sunday for another beginner-friendly tutorial. All right, bye!